unless you're Rappalus. Well, Rappalus doesn't even care that this got added to the game. He, he, pity system? Let's look at the patch for the week, boys. What are we getting? I think we're one week away from the life skilling patch, guys. I, next week, I'm pretty sure we get combined life skills. I don't think it's this week, though. Um, let's look at the event. Uh, horse ammo. Imperial Steed is here. Oh, thank God. I can Imperial Venter all my horses. Fantastic. 50% mount EXP during the event. You're also going to get way more um, Flower of Oblivion. This is for the T10 attempts, guys. Um, really, really good. But most importantly, you're going to get the Imperial training invoices. So, like, if you've been saving up all of your horses to this point and kind of just... Like you train them overnight, they hit level 15, and then you just transport them to a stable uh, and let them sit. Now is the time you're going to be cashing all of these in uh, and making a lot more Flower of Oblivion. You'll be getting more training invoices. Uh, and then, obviously, while you're AFK training during the event, you're going to be getting 50% training EXP, guys. Uh, pretty massive. Seize your opportunity with the Horse Emblem, Imperial Steed. Okay, so you can get... You can exchange the delivery notices now for Imperial Steeds. That's actually new. Um, the rest of these, the Grand Veer horse gear, the tier 8 box, and the Krogdalo crafting box. This is the one I recommend getting first, guys. The Krogdalo gear is extremely massive upgrade uh, for anybody, especially in PvP. But if you're a pve -er, it gives you 5 a extra AP every hour uh, if you get the wind set. It's really, really good. So check that out. Um, I would I recommend crafting the Krogdalo gear or buying it off the market. It's totally fine, too. If it's a wind set, you should be able to get that. Uh, after raising an Imperial Steed to level 15 and leveling it in a Stable Keeper... Or delivering it to a stable keeper, you obtain approximately 120 million silver and a noble chest. So you're going to get 120 mil and a noble chest if you do an imperial steed. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to give you 10 mythical feathers, the 100 uh, oblivion, 100 royal fern rune. So it basically gives you a T10 attempt uh, overall. And then a bunch of other really fun stuff as well. So this is really good. Uh, and again, you only can get Imperial Steeds by Imperial Vending Horses. So, like, you're not guaranteed it during the event. But, like, you know, if you're if you're doing the event, you might get one. Really, really good. Um, items you can exchange. Um, yeah, so here's all the items you can exchange. That looks basically about the same. We've had this event before. But, again, the new Once Per Family um, Imperial Steed box uh gives you 30 imperial uh training delivery invoices so it looks like um oh yeah the little seal things uh and then you get i guess an imperial steed which is a huge w so everybody's gonna get a t10 attempt guys um for the most part and you gotta go out and train horses definitely a big horse training event guys uh jump on it uh double mini games for double moles with 50 percent life hot time oh my gosh you get 50 percent mount exp and you're getting 50 percent life exp Oh, bro, crazy. It's a life skiller's dream, this patch. This is crazy. And this is just before they do the combined life skills. Well, it looks like um, this is going to be all the way through April 30th, guys. So this will go through the combined life skills. Let me see if the other one is going to do that too. Yes, it is. Both of these events are going to go through the combining the life skills uh, on your account. So that's tremendously good. Uh, get Tet Manos gathering tools via Y. Okay, so you guys are going to get three tet manos gathering tools i think they're probably temporary um and you get a double chance at the gathering mini game um just make sure that that green thumb quest line in your suggested tab is done huge w um and then you get a chance for moles to spawn um times two during the event these spawn while you're doing um farming and if you get 10 pitapat moles or like the really good one um it says it doesn't affect the pit of pat mole but if you get 10 pit pat moles you actually get a pet like an exclusive pet uh which is really cool i've, I've only got like one pity piece for that it's kind of hard to get um but yeah no this is really big for life skillers um usually the tet manos tools are temporary so I i'm assuming that that's what that is going on during this one as well but big life skilling buffs um this patch uh ancient anvil wait what is this oh is this the pity system now each yes it is now each time you're failing an item your agris uh essence will start to fill up for ancient anvil which when activated will gain a hundred percent chance to of enhancement success for said item yes that's right to put it in plainer terms the ancient anvil is the guaranteed enhancement system of sorts 
um so we covered this a little while ago we are officially getting this on live servers tomorrow remember guys this goes all the way back to your uh to january 1st so basically every attempt that you've done on gear or anything in the game uh since january 1st has been recorded and will be a part of this um this pity system also remember that if you are going to get a pity um it does not consume the fail stack so look if you look here if you do hit the pity system the w is that you can see it doesn't actually consume the fail stack when it uh is guaranteed to go which is a massive thing uh for it because honestly it makes you feel a little bit better uh about getting it and failing 40 times or whatever right that's that's pretty big so you don't have to use the fail stack to get it it makes um i'll be honest with you guys um given the rates of enhancement it's different for everything um but given the rates of enhancement uh for the different gear this is probably not going to affect why well, it will affect all players but it'll affect like two percent of all players accounts okay so like you play bdo long enough you're going to get incredibly unlucky with some things and when that happens the developers have realized that people quit their game very frequently so instead of allowing you to quit the game over it they're giving you a light at the end of the tunnel so like this is probably not going to affect you most of the time but some of the time it will uh for black stars you have to do 40 attempts to get pen uh, guaranteed goddard um again is is 60 attempt or is 50 attempts to go from tet to pen goddard um looks like whaling again the fallen god you have to get a thousand fails for pen fallen god and it will guarantee it uh to success basically everything in the game has this guys i'm gonna save you the trouble we've gone through all this stuff before uh Debarekas, um looking for Debarekas. um that's a big thing that people are gonna want to see this is Tuvala. Okay, so Tuvala has it too. So if you fail your Tuvala a certain number of times, it will guarantee give it to you as well. Um, Debareka should be 20, um, as chat is saying there, but I was kind of hoping to see it. Um, this is Azula's green and orange grade sailing clothes. Yes, here's the Manos accessories. Also have, um, if you want to get Pen Manos uh, accessories, it's going to be 40 attempts. If you want to get Ted, it's going to be 14 attempts. Um, you missed it? Okay, let's take a look at it. Uh, most people are going to want to see that. Oh, here we go. Yellow grade accessories. Yeah, so this is uh, Devoreka's included, guys. Pen Debo is going to be 20 fails. Get a Pen Debo. Okay. Um, Tet to Pen fails. If you want to get a Tet Debo, it's going to be 10 fails. Uh, if you want to get a Tri Debo, it's going to be 8. If you want to get Duo, it's going to be 6. Um, if you want to get Pry, it's going to be 5. Okay. Do you understand how um, low the likelihood is on, is on that? It just makes you feel a little bit better that, like, the end will eventually be in sight, right? And that, that goes for all accessories that are white, blue, um, green, and yellow. Great. With downgrades, you will keep the 100% in chance for lower attempts. Yes. So let's say that your demo is Tet, and you try to enhance it to Pen, okay? And it downgrades to Try. Okay? Well... When you eventually get it back to Ted again, you will still have one fail, like ready to go. Okay, if it downloads to try, if it goes to try again, okay, and then you get it back to Ted again, okay, you'll ha it'll have two recorded fails and you'll attempt again. Does that make sense? So like you just keep doing it over and over and over again, <laughs> and like until you get it. Okay, so for Manos clothes, it's kind of annoying because like. You stock it up, and then the second that you get your tet, okay, all the all the pities reset, and it goes again. Uh, but at least you're guaranteed a pet for Manos Close, uh, and then all of your pen attempts for Manos Close are saved up as well, which should help me tremendously because God knows my Hunter Close are going to need it, right? Um, unless you're Rapalus. Well, Rapalus doesn't even care that this got added to the game. He... he... Pity system? Yeah, but like, this is what it, this is what it all looks like. Again... Uh, I have it for boat gear. They have it for guild gear, Ellie gear, um, your mount gear and everything. Everything has um, an enhancement uh, pity system now. So we'll have a lot less people quitting the game, hopefully. Um, now that all of this is in here, I'm going to scroll very slowly through this. So if you're watching it on YouTube, uh, you can pause at the uh, uh, area that you want. Uh, your hunter clothes are over the pity attempts. Uh, they probably are, but from January 1st, probably not. I haven't done a crazy amount of attempts on the hunter's clothes since January 1st. 
Uh, if it was from last year as well, oh yeah, it would be over. Um, okay, so contents. Now this is the instrument stuff. This, so this is music stuff, guys. The addition of the instrument playing for all classes, new instruments, and the simpli simplification of obtaining Thorchestra instruments. Today's update improves the convenience and the usability of composing. Uh, we hope that our musicians advent or our musician adventurers who enjoy composing can use tools more conveniently. Uh, many of you have been waiting for this expansion uh, of the maximum note count and the sheet music and the function to bring in instruments from other sheets. We're currently working to provide these to adventurers and we will inform you as soon as the update is ready. It is on the global lab, so we're not getting the expansion on the total notes, guys. Um, to be honest with you, I would love to see longer songs and stuff composed. Uh, when we do get that uh, done, I might just have uh, a music like contest um, uh, like a band contest uh for everybody i've been thinking about doing it uh when they get all of these changes implemented to the game uh, but it does look like they've got some quality of life um stuff updates um for uh comp music compositions here which is pretty cool um again yeah no i think i, I think i might do some like uh you know who can compose the best song and then like display we'll have like a display aspect where like the band comes up and plays the uh the composition and you know they're all in like the that they all look emo or they all look like super heavy metal or they all look like really nice and stuff and they're playing the harp whatever um i think it would be really cool i think there's a lot you could do with an event like that so i'm looking at trying to do something like that when again it's all done it's not all quite here yet guys uh the music notes have not been expanded yet but the interacting with the ui looks like it's a lot easier uh they're allowing you to use different things there um you can look at the specifics kind of uh if you want to read through that most people it's not going to pertain to the life skill level family integration update will be the april 24th maintenance so that is next week guys with this all life skill leap quests will become family based and the leap quests you are progressing will be canceled however those who have already completed it will not be reset okay oh wow okay so my alchemy guide is already outdated <laughs> bro all right we're doing a new worker empire guide um that's happening um traces fruits and essences are now simplified i don't even know why i bother sometimes all of the traces in the game are now simplified damn it i just i literally just made the alchemy guide <laughs> That's okay. I worked it into the alchemy guide. I did say that they were going to combine it. Um, we're going to do the worker empire guide um, when I come back on Thursday. I'm going to uninvest all of my nodes. If you guys don't know, I have... Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Um, if you guys don't know, I have a massive worker empire. 113 artisan workers. They all have jobs. Um, and they are all working. So basically, I'm going to uninvest all of my nodes. And I'm going to teach you guys. Uh, I'm going to reinvest everything. I'm going to show you as I'm doing it. Uh, and it'll be made into a guide so that people can see what to invest in on YouTube. Uh, I'm very curious um, how the nodes are going to play into this. This is a very interesting update for me. All of the essences are combined, so making the manos, uh, crafting the manos is going to be a little interesting. Um, I'm not sure what they changed the recipe there. Fruit of nature is basically all of the fruits now. It should make fruits really easy, much easier to acquire. And then again, trace of nature should be a lot easier to acquire than all of the different traces in the game. Um, but yeah, we won't have to overextend for nodes like Trace of Origin anymore. Um, you don't like that node becomes basically irrelevant. Um, like just just as like a just off the top of my head, um, this node right here, this Fountain of Origin, this is only really good because Trace of Origin drops here, and not very many players have this. So if like if you go to the um, territory resource information, you can see that the the green bar is actually at ninety nine percent. Not very many players have. Um, the trace of origin node there but a lot of players have you see the green bars at zero percent here this is for the one that's just south of heidel here in this glitch ruins area um you can see that like again you're gonna get a lot less efficiency out of this node uh but if they're all the same yeah those nodes become like the the meta on those nodes is going to change dramatically uh, that's what that bar meant yeah again i have a lot of useless game knowledge i like to share it from time to time um Change the crafting recipe due to simplification. Okay, so yeah, all of the crafting recipes in the game have been simplified. I'm very curious um, what they've changed it to. They don't actually show it. They just say, hey, this recipe changed. Um, some of them should overlap with each other. I don't know how that's possible. Um, I feel like that the Menos 
Like, for example, Manos? Aren't the Manos stuff? Like, are these all just different essences? Like the belt? That's just essence of Crimson Flame? With titanium. The ring is vanadium and essence of abundance. The earring is vanadium and essence of enchantment. Do you see? Those are going to be exactly the same. They didn't actually tell us what they're changing it to. So, like, I'm sure that they're going to have to change some of the recipes. I'm not really sure what they're going to change it to, though. So, like, yeah, they didn't actually give us the list here. So that's kind of that's kind of weird. So just be careful, guys, when you're crafting. Uh, the recipes for stuff has changed dramatically uh, for alchemy. Um, and, like, crafting manos and stuff. Yeah, so the, the uh, Consort of Life, Protection, and Destruction. Again, um, Consort of Life, Consort of Mistake, and Consort of Greater Mistake um, are... Like, like the recipes are changed here. Uh, oh, here we go. I take it back. So they did they did address it. Okay, so yeah, they they've changed it here. Black underscore ninety two just resubscribed for nine oh, months. Oh, it's powder of darkness now instead of the instead of the essence. That's way easier. Powder of darkness, powder of flame, powder of earth, powder of time. Oh yeah, it's so much easier. Wow, that's that's way easier to craft manos. I actually expect that market to fluctuate a little bit. That's very cool. Really cool. I'm curious how they changed the the manos. I mean the uh, the alchemy recipes too, but I won't get into it. Um, yeah. So they've they've combined all these together. Uh, the repeat season gift. Uh, added the repeat season special gift, which allows you to exchange. I got my herald's journal done on EU today. Just so we're clear, I'm gaming. Okay. Um, exchange the season special exchange coupons with your own gifts without any number of limitation on the number of times. Okay, just to be clear, if you're a new player watching this, you need to get the Pen Kaposha Necklace first. Do not be tempted by the 150 stack. Like some of our other less intelligent um, gear redeems maybe have have done. Pen Kaposha uh, Belt is second. The third thing you can take is a Pen Kaposha Earring or Ring. It's entirely up to you. Um, the earring might be a little bit more valuable to you. It kind of depends um on how quickly you're getting your jatina done the last thing that you want to take is um that's the three with the first three coupons you get and then with the next one you want to try to get the um the alchemy stone what's it called got perillas perillas okay that and then after you get like these things okay then you want to take like the 150 stack again 150 the integer 150 is higher than the integer 100 okay which I understand is a very difficult concept for some adventurers, but you really don't want to take the 100 stack if you have the 150 available, okay? We, we've we talked about this. Like, people mess this up. It's it's tough to f*** up, guys, but people find a way. Okay. Um, added the following items to the exchange. Managed currency. Uh, gold Imperial Training Seals and the Grand Prix uh, Vera Scroll. Okay, fantastic. Change that the life EXP of transfer coupons can be sold to NPC shops. Okay. Change the life EXP of transfer coupons that are now stored in normal inventory instead of pearl inventory. Wow. Wow. Hopefully you guys didn't buy those. Like recently, anyway. Uh, I've bought I bought like one or two in like like two years ago, but. Change that you cannot summon other mounts while on large ships. Okay, they don't want you calling your horse to ships. Revamp the quest types uh, from the bottom of the quest. Oh, menu. Okay, so they revamped the, the quest menu. Following the revamp, all quest types for all characters over level 20 and family have been activated after the April 17th maintenance. Oh. Black Spirit quest. Check to view and accept the quest related to the Black Spirit. Main quests are not separately exposed. Quests in the O tab window are always displayed. Oh, and are always displayed. Okay. Uh, general quest, check and view to accept general quests. Adventure quest, check the... Uh, check and view and accept quests that relate to adventures such as exploration, trade collection, and knowledge acquisition. Okay. Content quests. Okay, so... I wish that there was more information about what exactly is happening right here. I'm not I think that they're reorganizing how your quests are kind of shown in your quest UI, guys. Uh, you can see at the very bottom here, they actually have a lot of different types of quests. 
uh, that you can have. It looks like there's Black Spirit uh, right here. And there's main quests. There's adventure log quests, maybe. Um, and like, it uh, looks like maybe events. Uh, so they're giving you more options to kind of toggle quests on and off. Uh, and then maybe you can kind of like it. You can't see them in here. Maybe if you turn these off, I'm not sure. Um, it's tough to tell you exactly what they're saying here. We'll have to see when we log in. But your quest UI is, is undergoing some changes here. Uh, tulips are in full bloom all over the Black Desert world. Okay, so we're getting tulips, guys, because it's summertime. Or it's about to be summer. Or it's spring right now. But it'll be summer soon. Uh, UI. Improve the convenience of using the Krogdalo Sanctuary feature for the eight people on the server that have it. Okay, simplify the opening animation of the NPC dialogue quest and exchange windows. Okay, so for the uh, Krogdalo Sanctuary, guys, this is if you have all three T10 um, horses. Uh, you're an upper class citizen, if you will. Uh, change that the mythical horse list displayed on the outside of the screen when right clicking the mount icon while owning the Krogdalo Sanctuary. The UI will now be shown above the mount icon. Okay, sure system oh boys the karma system is here boys hopefully you're not negative karma tonight if you are negative karma tonight you need to get your karma back before the servers go down okay because if you don't it's gonna be five times as hard to do it in the morning penalties for force pvp such as the enhanced uh enhancement level decrease in crystal destruction were rather weak they didn't feel like they were strong enough, guys. Um, some could bypass these penalties using different gear settings to continuously harass other adventurers. Therefore, we decided to make the penalties a little stronger. Currently, karma can be recovered quickly and easily. Characters now have stronger gear, so are able to defeat monsters in a shorter amount of time. But karma recovery rate wasn't adjusted to match this increase in power. So, we're going to decrease the rate of recovery to make karma recovery more time-consuming. On top of this, there were adventurers who continued to impose forced PvP on other adventurers when they were already at the lowest possible karma. To prevent repeated forced PvP, we are going to expand the bottom limit of karma. So now, guys, not only is it five times harder to get your karma back, it is ten times as far. Okay, so you can go to negative ten million karma and it is five times harder to get your karma back in general. You're you're looking at a grind. If you grief somebody, or if you if you run it down and you flag up for PvP, I hope it's worth it because your entire account will be red for the next 20 hours at least of grinding. This is this is a lot, guys. Like one fifth, you're looking at like buff that nah, would probably be five hours. That would probably be five hours to go from negative a million to positive karma. If you're negative 10 million, it's going to be 25 hours of grinding. That's a really long time. Maybe 20 on the low end. Yeah, red players don't give a crap. Yeah, I mean, like, actual red players won't care. But this is for the players that keep harassing you at your grind zones, guys. Like the guy that was flagging on me earlier tonight. Like those people. Yeah, they're going to suffer a lot more, guys. A pearl shop. Change the names and order of some of the categories in the pearl shop. Okay, sure. Uh, changes and fixes. Changed some of the unnecessary black spirit chat icons. Okay, good. All right, so there's some changes and bug fixes in here. Let's go ahead and see what we're going to get in the pearl shop this week, guys. Shouldn't they just remove all C all together? I think that they should just make a new system for it. Or make half the servers PvP and half PvE. I don't know. I don't think that that's the answer. I think everybody would just conglomerate on the PvE servers, but like... I think that like, and then the PvP servers would all but just be dead. And the PvPers wouldn't be able to find each other because there's too many PvP servers. And so like you have the overflow from the PvE servers, but like nobody can find the PvP that they want. It's just not a good solution, I don't think, in my opinion. I think that the, again, the um, flagging for PvP before you leave town, and then there's no karma loss for killing you, but you get a 50% drop rate or 40% drop rate buff for flagging for PvP. Um... I think that that's totally reasonable, but if you don't flag for PvP before you leave town, you can't be PvP'd at all, unless it's a GVG. Unless it's like a guild versus guild war. I think that's a reasonable system. That's what, um, I think World of Warcraft does that, New World does that. I think it's just W. Flagging means you ult C, you flag up on another adventure, and you're trying to kill them. Like, you're trying to brutally murder them, uh, without their consent. 
Um, okay, so Pearl Shop. All classes. Chick metal glasses. Wait, do we have like a... There's no... So we're getting glasses for all the male classes, but they didn't care enough to show us what they look like? Okay, so we don't know what the chick metal glasses look like. Let me see if I can look it up real quick, guys. Nope. Yeah, we don't know what this looks like at all. Uh, they should absolutely have a picture here. That's that's a huge L. Yeah. Um. Step up the Azure Dragon. Oh, God, these step up boxes. Guys, <laughs> clearly you guys keep buying the step up boxes. I'm going to advise you. You probably don't buy them unless they're super worth it. Most of them are scams, but like some of them are really good. So like, I'm just gonna be honest. The Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune. Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune times four. So these are rolly boxes, guys. And again, rolly boxes. Be very careful trying to buy rolly boxes in this game. Some of the rolly boxes are super valuable and like really good. And then other rolly boxes are a total scam. Either way, if you don't like the pay to win stuff and you don't like necessarily like getting cron stones uh, or buying cron stones with your real life money, then this is probably not going to be a box that you're going to want to do. If it is a box that you're going to want to do, I will typically tell you. Like the Halloween boxes were really good, for example. Um, let me just make a... Let, let me just look. Azure. Wait, really? There's nothing in here? Or is it A-Z-U-R-E? -A okay, here we go. All right, so what's in these? Okay, so yeah, these are the 50-50 boxes where you can just get another... So you open it. You have a 50% chance to get the next tier of box or you get cron stones. And then you open it again and it's 50-50 and you can get the next tier of box or you can get a draconic pet box or a pet um, or you can get eight inventory and some artisans uh, and then you have a 50-50 shot and you just keep rolling it and it keeps doing this. Uh, and you can get an Azure Pouch of Outstanding Fortune uh, and that has a choose your premium outfit box. It's just whatever premium outfit box and whatever character you want basically. Uh, and then a, and then a classic outfit box, and then a, an advice to the box. Now, to be clear, the choose your outfit box, guys, if they are designated outfits, one per class usually, and you just open it on your class, and that's the outfit that you get. You don't necessarily choose. I don't think it might be a choose. Like you might be get to choose like one of three or one of four, but you're certainly not going to have your pick of any outfit on the marketplace. Um, I'm not entirely certain what the choose your like. Sometimes it it can mean different things. Um. Yeah, the Golden Dragons are pretty good, guys. I have a lot of those. Um, they are combat EXP pets. They give combat EXP. So at tier 4, you can see I have a lot of tier 4s. They give combat EXP times 4. And then I have combat EXP as a skill. So have, this one gives me 9% combat EXP for just being out. Right? Uh, so I really like them. But, like, they're not really worth it to try to roll in a rolly box. Because they, they sell these. You don't have to try to RNG to get these guys. They just sell these. You don't need to try to do this. Um, like that, you just gotta wait for them to come on sale. Uh, Kunuichi, uh, Valderim outfit set. Is this new? Valder Hylum outfit set for Kunuichi. Is this new? Can I see? Come on, why don't we have any pictures? It's a mix and match of multiple outfits. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Ronan, for clarifying. So we do have CM Ronan in the chat right now. Uh, they did clarify this is a mix and match outfit set. Where you can just like pick different aspects of different Kunuichi outfits and put them together because all of the Kunuichi outfits suck so much that they figured that you might be able to mix and match other outfits and try to make one that you actually like. Um, package Dream Horse Prep. It's from the contest? Oh. This did not win the contest. This did not win the contest. I don't believe it. You know, we all know what really won the contest. The Berserk outfit won, and you know it. But, huge congratulations to Valderharm for having a Kunuichi outfit that actually won the outfit set. Or that actually won it. So many people say that Kuno's outfits are so ugly. This guy actually found a way to make it look pretty. And God bless him. So it's got the shell bell gloves, the NU armor. Okay, I don't know why I just did that. Um, puff mini helmet. Um, and then the Ethereum marine shoes here. Very cool. Yeah, it's got a player name on it. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's on discount too. I might look at buying it. 
I think it's really cool that they do this for adventurers and stuff. I think people got excited that it might be the Berserk outfit. <laughs> but he absolutely deserved to win it. Uh, because, like, all the Berserk outfit guy did was he put on his Berserk set, didn't even dye it, and then just submitted the photo. <laughs> and it had, like, a thousand up. Uh, it was stupid. It was so dumb. This guy actually tried. He deserves to win it. God, God bless him. Congratulations to him. Um... Dream Horse Prep. So um, I don't recommend buying Dream Horse Prep stuff. They always give you free uh, T9 stuff anyway, guys. But like this is like Mount EXP stuff. There is going to be a an event going on. Ooh, Triple High Tay Pack. These are really, really good, guys. High Tays, it's a training event too. High Tays are very, very good. That's what these are. Blue, why do you have five tier threes? I need these. Okay. Um... They give mount EXP plus 3%. So I get 15% extra mount EXP all the time when I have these out. They're really good. Now, I got mine all free to play. Okay, because they hand away high taste about twice a year for free to the entire server. So when that happens, guys, and right now, there's low key. You should just put your, just put your, put it on. Just like that. Just like that. Because people will buy them and sell them to the marketplace. Um... That's how you get them, okay? But like, honestly, this is not a bad pack at all. Um, If you want to try to get like your, if you want to have a setup like this for horse training, AFK horse training, very, very good for your AFK money, Um, especially during an event like this. Backpack bundle, these are always really good um, for your inventory. If you feel like you need inventory, mount category is 20% off. The whole mount category is 20% off. That's amazing. And again, there's a, there's a uh, mount event going on, like a horse training event going on, which is really good too. So this is the, oh, Whoa. Yo. Yo. That looks so good. Holy moly. They really nailed. That's the, oh, that's, that's, um, that's Odie in the background. That's, uh, that's Odraxia in the background. That's sick. It's a dark night, I think, that they're taking a picture of because that's how DK stands. Damn, bro. Yo. The sniffer. I love it. Very respectfully sniffer. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yo. I want to see the weapon. Pause that. Enhance it, boys. Break it down. Move it over. It's sold, boys. It's a W. It's a W. That Creek Meister looks really cool. That looks sick. It's serrated. Yeah, I like it. Nah, the pants. Why is it that every time people look at a dark night, they're like, damn. Like that, you could just be looking at this right here. This is it. This is all you saw. And you'd be like, yeah, it's a dark night. Like, what, well, guys, look up. What are we doing? That's a W. Hey, I'm totally willing to showcase this skin. I'll take it for the... I'll take the bullet. I'll put it on my dark night on EU. I'll take the bullet. Yeah, I, I suppose... I'll sell the shit out of that skin. Watch, watch me not, watch me sell the shit out of that skin. People are gonna be like, "Yo, what outfit that?" Yo, hold up. <laughs> yeah, my EU DK is up huge, right? Yeah, yeah. April twenty fourth, guys. April twenty fourth. And it's is it just a dark night outfit? Is it? It's showcased. This outfit is wild, buddy. Oh, Respectfully. It's all female classes, guys. All female classes. Except for Shy. Shy's are terrorists. That looks like it's a wrap on the patch. Don't run down for the week, guys. Uh, that's everything. Pretty fun patch. Pretty fun patch. Uh, the, the combination of the traces and the... And the, like, the... 
and the fruits and stuff took me by surprise. I didn't realize that was going to come. Also, we get the pity enhancement system this patch as well, guys.